guys it's India here and welcome back to my channel so today I have a very exciting video for you guys and I will be reviewing the new coming to stores very quickly Sephora pro pigment palette pro pigment palette yes I saw this palette on trend mood and I literally almost died the colors look so gorgeous so real quick before i get into this re review if you are not subscribed to my channel please do so you know when i will be uploading new videos and if you are already subscribed to my channel thank you so much and welcome back so let's get into the review a whole bunch of information about this eyeshadow palette on the internet it is not well it's released but then it's not released the official launch date of this palette is July 14th next week I believe and on trend mood I saw that I saw that launching date and I also saw that some Sephora stores did have them now in the state that I lived in I have a couple Sephora's I called one they act like they didn't know what I was talking about and I called another and they told me that they had them in the back and the reason they have them in the back is because they didn't have a place on the floor as of yet but they were selling palettes out of the back so they let me get one so real quick I'm gonna give you guys some information on it this palette retails for $68 yes $68 and it comes in three different colors warm the one that I have and also it comes in a cool tone palette and it also comes in a editorial color palette and that editorial palette has colors in it like yellows and blues and greens. I guess you think editorial like an editorial shoot like different like bold colors that you would see in that shoot. Okay so the packaging is this well it comes in this first of all it comes in this box but the packaging it is this plastic black sleek packaging um, and then it has Sephora Pro on the front and rose gold writing. I really like it because it's black and it won't get dirty. I mean, I like white palettes, but it seems like they get dirty so fast. I mean, that's not really a big deal. But also in the box with it, it comes with this little paper right here. And it's kind of like the Too Faced. I don't know if you ever have gotten a Too Faced eyeshadow. They usually have like a little thing. A paper where it shows different looks that you could do and here they have well this is a Spanish shot but here they have suggestions of different looks that you can do all right so when you open up the palette it has this large mirror in it as you can see which is great I know a lot of people like uh, mirrors in their palettes it's easier for them to do their makeup especially on their glow on the go and in this palette there is 28 eyeshadows and out of those eyeshadows 20 are matte and 8 are shimmer so it also comes like with this little plastic covering on top of the eyeshadows and it has each and every name of every eyeshadow but on the back of the box it also has the names of the eyeshadows as well I have swatched all the eyeshadows for you so real quick I'm going to show you those swatches and then I will get into my review okay I'll be going from left and right canvas sand hazelnut brown sugar oat brass khaki and caramel again from left to right biscotti clay peach and sepia camel copper brick and coconut shell ochre bronze terracotta and cocoa saddle adobe burnt umber cedar And lastly, Auburn, Sandstone, Chestnut, and I believe it's Obesedon. Okay guys, so let's talk about formula. The first thing I noticed is that when you dip your brush into these eyeshadows, you do get kick up. I mean, there is some immediate kick up 
in these eyeshadows as soon as you dip your brush into them so when you apply them to the eye you will have some fallout um that's not necessarily a bad thing when i think about that i think of lorac eyeshadows lorac eyeshadows to me have a lot of kick up they um have a lot of fallout but it doesn't make the eyeshadow bad actually a lot of eyeshadows have kick up and fallout so that necessarily doesn't mean it's a bad eyeshadow um, another thing that I noticed about these, um, they blend so well together. You can mix these colors and kind of just pack them on top of each other and you don't get that um, muddy mess. You know when some eyeshadows are like really chalky and you like try to layer them to create different looks and they just kind of mud and like mud all together. I think that's because of that chalkiness and that kind of cheapness. This, you don't get that. Um, also, I noticed that there's a few inconsistencies a little bit with the formula. The formula, the shadows are all pretty nice and buttery. Um, I did notice that one of the shadows, like this one shimmer shadow right here, I believe this color is called, one, two, three, four, this color is called Peach. Um, when I did my finger into it, it's dry like off the bat and it's barely any pigmentation but the rest of the shimmers are not like that this shimmer right here is probably my favorite color and that color is brick and it's absolutely gorgeous look at that pigmentation you guys like all the shimmers are very soft very soft you guys just the shimmers the mattes are very buttery very pigmented as you can see and as you can see from my swatches people are saying i know people are kind of excited about this palette because they are saying that it is a dupe for natasha denona shadows um i can't attest to that because i honestly do not own a T natasha denona palette i think it's the sunset palette in particular um that price is a little bit too high for me to pay but i know you're probably thinking you paid 68 dollars for that palette you might as well pay the extra money to get that one but i feel like if you are looking for an exact natasha denona dupe um, this would be a pretty good thing. This has more shades, I believe, than the, the, the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I don't think it has as many shades as this, but the shadows are just so pretty. They're so easy to work with. I have them on my eyes today, and the colors that I used was this black right here, and that is called Adesin. I also use this brown next to it, which is called Cedar. And then on my lid, I have this shimmery color here, which is called Brass. Now, the only thing about this brass color, it didn't show up as pigmented as I would have liked. I do have a primer on, and I set that primer, prim that primer with a powder. So once I put that on, and I noticed that I wasn't getting the intensity that I wanted, I just went in with some MAC Fix Plus, and I got the intensity that I wanted. But off the bat, like... The rest of the shimmers are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. Like, this is just all around a pretty good palette. I'm pleasantly impressed because I've never used Sephora shadows before. I know when I first got the palette, I was a little disappointed, so to say, because it didn't look as intense as it did on the... Um, on the Instagram post as I thought but after playing with the shadow for a couple days I really really like it so overall let's get to the nitty-gritty do I suggest this palette for you to buy my honest opinion is it is a good shadow um the price point is still eh, a little high for me I still can't believe that I paid that much for a palette I've never paid that much for a palette before in my life um it's a beautiful palette. I think that the shadows are very nice and they wear well and they blend well. Um, the formula is good. Um, so, like I said, I don't own a, a Natasha Denona palette. But if you are looking for like almost an exact dupe for it, I think that this would be good. And actually, you probably get more for your money because I think that these this palette has way more shadows than that one has. Um, is it honestly a necessity to buy? I would say no. 
Um, and I simply would say no is because it's a warm tone palette and you can find most of these combinations, maybe not as all 28, but the majority of these combinations you can find in other eyeshadow palettes that you do have um, at home laying around just off the top of my head. The Modern Renaissance palette has a lot, has some of the similar colors like this. If you purchase that recent, that Jaclyn Hill palette, this palette has some of the <laughs> colors as this. Uh, off the top of my head, another palette, um, um, the other Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the one where she collabed with Mario, can't remember his last name, besides that blue. Some of these colors that is in that palette is also in this palette. I have a Morphe palette that has some of these palettes. The, the copper palette has some of the colors um, that this palette has minus that brick color. So for the price point, nah, it's still a little rich for my blood. I know I own it, but it's still a little rich for my blood. But is it a, ne a necessity like, oh my God, you got to have this in your collection you're missing out no if you are a collector of all things makeup if you are on the hunt for a natasha a cheaper natasha denona um dupe this would be it and i would say go ahead if you want to treat yourself treat yourself um but is it an exact necessity absolutely not all i have for my video you guys this is my honest opinion i hope that it was helpful um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in another video. I love you so much. Bye.